Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for the Polytrack race meeting at Gravel Wednesday, the 2nd of August. And uh, what a card. Wow. A couple of odds on shots that don't look like they deserve to be odds on. So we try and dissect this whole lot for you. Uh, just as an update, I didn't win the Masters. Uh, ran top 10 amongst the racing people, but. Um, never made a putt and that's what happens if you don't make putts no one can win and you've seen that with even Scotty Scheffler and uh, Cameron Young couldn't make putts nor could I anyway played nicely enjoyed myself and uh, able to bring you this uh, preview for Grable 20, 12.20 is the first race and it's a maiden played for three rolls 1400 meters so what do you find here? Well, you find that this is a field of really, really thin horses. B52 is your favorite. Third run after the rest, got some form. Gets Gavin Arena, which is a big plus from Daniel, Daryl Daniels, and um, should go really well. But it's not kind of dry there. I like the look of Imperial Power. If this horse has improved from his gelding, uh, and uh, his two first two runs were pretty good, not bad at all, the gelding will have done him the world of good. And if he's fit and well, he'll go well. Global Ruler, the Doug Campbell runner, I think is a huge um, chance here. Because if you go back to Ermlo form, very little between Global Ruler and the favorite B52 and Global Ruler 6-1. to one. So uh, that might improve quite a lot. Global Ruler, he goes on the poly for the first time. They look like the ones that will fight it out. The Calabar comment is not promising, and they usually is pretty accurate and pretty transparent. So uh, just watch those two go down. Race two, a maiden plate, Phillies and Mares. They got uh, 1,700 meters. Well, your hot favorite, four to 10, is Woodland Glade, and on all known form, should be able to win this. But goes on the poly for the first time. That is a question mark. So what else is there? Um, Sacred Lily, she doesn't seem to like the poly. Uh, and Tom, Tom Bailey, well, she improved a lot last time and uh, would have some sort of chance here. But thin this race, the horse that might improve is Mushiara, um, the Daryl Moore uh, runner number one. Race three, Mary rated 70, 64, 1700 meters. I like exceed expectation. Uh, Daryl Daniels gets an opportunity to open his account, and I can tell you this is as good an opportunity as he'll ever get. He hasn't ridden a winner for many, many years. Uh, he gets a chance here on a horse that should be able to win the stable. Scratching the stable companion is significant. The favourites to Pascali um, and improved last two definitely got a big chance here. Uh, oh, my word, it's Roy. Uh, Roy Moody ran second in the uh, uh, Racing Masters. He got touched off by Grant Knowles. That's the news. So, oh my word, is Roy I might be uh, a player with head guard now. Race four. There's a ra uh, maiden plate, 1900 meters, and I made this an absolute two cornered contest. Johnny the Thief looks like the right horse. Uh, changed ownership, but MJ still trains it. And Gavin Lorena gets a ride on it. Should be very, very hard to beat. I think King Bavarian might be the big danger, number five. Alison Wright's runner. Uh, it looks like it's improving. Uh, only had a couple of runs, and his last run was his best run. Should go well, King Bavarian. The two Frank Robinson horses, uh, Duke of Africa and Green Gallant, a little between them. they got some sort of chance. Mighty Rain, third run after a rest. The other MJ Wooden, I'll run it, but I think it's probably having a, another warm-up. And then Tiger Spring. Uh, don't ignore Tiger Spring with uh, Rachel Venica for Garth Puller. Race 5. Mary rate is 77. They go 1,000 metres. Well, with the scratching of the two uh, wire mowing runners, it looks like it's uh, pour some sugar on me. Looks like the right one. Uh, Dennis Bosch might be able to have a quick double with the race, this race and the next race. Pour some sugar on me. Might be sharp for her. That's the big problem with her. The thousand meters might be on the sharp side. Whereas I'm the buzz, I think, looks like um, a real player here with a four kilogram uh, claimer. If he can get it out to up there and near the front, I'm the buzz will be very hard to beat. He's only got 53 to carry. Divine Moonlight ran in two features as last two starts. Go back at uh, beat Wugu, 
and that was very good form. So, and it was a pretty good time. So expect um, the Mine Moonlight to run really well. The Blinkers in um, addition to Red Roses 2 gives her some sort of chance. Race 6, Merrill rated handicap 1,200 meters. Uh, who knows, Hollywood, um, they own Purple Operator, Black White Dynamite, which are the best of the two. Maybe the blinkers of Black White Dynamite will improve it. The Purple Operator's got very good form, but comes off a break. Preemptive strike, I'm going to stick with him. He might just uh, keep us in the play. And then Prosperous Gift, um, definitely got some sort of chance, so that will go well. But it looks like four-cornered contest. Race 7. Merit rated handicap fillies of mayor 1600 meters. Well, here where, is where I really like horse Zinkeli. Zinkeli is a favorite. Second run off the rest. Course and distance one from one. I don't like the second run, and I'm coppering it. Alpha Betty gets the blinkers. That might make a big difference to Alpha Betty. Uh, she's got form, and she gets Gavin Larina. But Petit Verdo at the weights really looks like the right horse to be in this race. She's just got to get away into a reasonable position, just just off there. She's good enough to beat this field. She's got some form, this filly, and uh, she's just got to be in a reasonable position turning for home. If you're too far back, end of her chances, magical flight. Uh, shouldn't be able to beat uh, Petit Verdot at the weight, although Rachel Vinica's one and a half claim is going to make it a lot closer. Race 8, fillies and mares, uh, sorry, 66, uh, 1400 metres. How do you go against Brave Boy Joe? I know he's a perennial bridesmaid. He's always run second or third. He's a great earner. He's a lovely looking horse, but Brave Boy Joe. Just got to get his head in front, and I see the blinkers are on him again. That makes him a big runner. Hypocrites is uh, definitely the danger. Um, he's a pacey horse, and look for him to improve. Interesting, there's an eight and a nine year old in the race, Farland and Lazy Part of Fame. People are keeping horses and training longer than they normally they used to and uh, that shows it with those type of runners so from uh, Gravel uh, on the poly hope you have a great day and uh, we'll chat to you over the weekend